like the, the one story I do want to talk about this week is uh, Adam Copeland and Ricky Starks, but I wonder if there's anything else we should talk about before we get him, there. Are you actually calling him Adam Copeland? I have to. <laughs> I have to because I, I if if I don't if I don't make myself call him Adam Copeland, I'm going to keep calling him Edge, and I don't I I. He, you saw how mad he got at, at, at Ricky Starks. And Ricky Starks just said, Edge. He said he was on the edge of the seat. He said he sent me. That really sent me over the edge. Over the edge. Over that, the edge. No, no, no. He said that sent him over the edge. And then the, he said, oh. <laughs> I love wrestling, yo. Wrestling. <laughs> that wrestling niggas. <laughs> I think I think the crime don't be the actual jokes because most of the time the jokes ain't that good, right? Right. But the, it be the intent, um, yes. i.e., <laughs> like sunny days. Like that's a horrible yes. joke. That's yes. not funny. But no. I know what you was trying to do, and I and think I like that it. be that be the heat, right? Yeah. It's weird. So the for it, there was a situation. And it was the top of collision. Christian Cage is cutting promos. He's got, He's got that mock neck on. He had the he. It's a sleeveless mock neck. I can't so with that. Them damn that eyes. is that is as bad as the Ravens um uh, purple camo. I hate that uh, got dang uh, mock neck. That's his thing, though. I mean, he it, it's it's perfect for a bad guy. It, yeah, it, no, that's the thing. I like for, for heel heat. So it's we we've got this situation where Ricky Stark, he Ricky and uh, Big Bill interrupt this entire promo segment so ricky big gets started in the suit big no, no, actually big yeah he he's standing behind my reveal he basically has on a Shut similar Myron outfit Reed. to what ricky has on Shut up, Myron Reed. yeah my was he was big chilling big chilling that nigga went crazy on sunday though against uh against Grim. Grim? yeah and Grim went crazy I I really need to I fight whenever y'all showing that. Let me know. I, yeah, I, the like word is. By the way, that. word is they're gonna um they're gonna fast track the uh the triple threat. You heard brother mm -hmm. fam say that. So we don't got exclusives or nothing though. Rick, Ricky's <laughs> Rick, Ricky's cutting promos, and at one point, Edge makes a comment about. Oh no, Ricky says, don't look at me with your bug eye with your bug eyes over there. <laughs> and Adam Copeland immediately says, It was your silk pants, dumbass. Wah, wah, wah. You got That's your no this is He said it's your silk pants, dumbass. You got your style from the rock. But you're you're the vanilla vanilla midget version of that. He said midget, which is crazy. He said, uh why don't you start talking? Don't stop talking to me and start talking to him. Now, Ricky Starks being Ricky Starks, he ain't no ho. <laughs> he ain't no no ho. You you well, could think of, think of how many times Ricky's heard you you a fake rock, you the rock. Like he's he's I imagine he's tired of that shit, and he's not gonna let Adam Copeland. Stand in the promo segment and, and try and get one over on him. So he looked right at the crowd. He said, "Wow, that really sent me over the edge." You know what though? I feel like I feel like I know why Edge was mad. Like no joke, I feel like I know why Edge was mad. What? Edge, I feel like left up top in on good terms, right? Um, you know that still is people. They all still cool. Look, I'm not going down there. I'm not going to use my name. I'm chilling. I'm not. And then he go down there and, you know, he's Adam Copeland with the race car and the stupid jacket and all that. And the, 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 I think the, I think the rock thing did piss Ricky off. I don't think they really like each other. And I think his, oh, you want, like I, I've talked to Ricky Starks. Ricky Stark's a petty nigga, right? <laughs> he, and I can't, I wish I could tell that story. But no. like, he, he, a pet, he be, no, I'm, I'm not going to tell the story. But Ricky Stark's a petty nigga, right? So that being the case, I think he knew exactly what to say. Mm -hmm. He played that whole like the reverse. 
exactly first, skip you uno out like that's what he did and he knew and that's the key i think the key is that that's but and that's why ricky's so good <clears throat> Cause that is the it, only reason why I could see Edge legit get. Cause none of the jokes were like, oh, nothing, oh like nothing yeah, was nothing hit like that. And and again, I Who feel like fired them niggas. But but Adam Copeland hit him with like three or four darts, and Ricky literally only mm-hmm. said, "You got bug eyes," and the shit you just said about me sent me over the edge. And then you see, look how pissed off. Like the Edge was flustered. I actually never noticed though. Big Bill standing behind Myra Reed. He's he, he's got a big grin on his face, looking right at Adam. It's great. But uh, do could do we think there may have been beef going into this? Like, like does this feel like say some say some? I'm a, I'm 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 a clap right back. No. no, has Edge been there? Edge ain't been but there that long. Feels for it to be like that. Say, right. it feels like it's a. I don't know Edge. I don't know anything about Adam Copeland. Right. It mm-hmm. feels like it's a. Let's call him Edge. I'm calling him Edge. You you. <laughs> you got this carpet rolled out for you. We know what this style of work you can do. I don't know if it's going to translate over here, but you still walk around with this. I'm a superstar. You know what I mean? Like you walking through this bitch like you a superstar. Right. When I'm the nigga that's here. Facts. Like I'm one of them guys. I'm just here to show you that, you know what I mean? Keep your eyes off of me while I do my work. Right. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm trying to say? I feel you. I feel you, but I think Mills picks up an excellent point, though. He says this is what happens when no one knows what they're supposed to be saying. But it's yeah. that, but that, that's, that's what it felt like. It felt very much like nobody... I feel like a lot of the segments that were... A lot of the clips that were on the timeline felt that way. Nobody really knew what they were... They were spitballing, and it was coming off as if people were spitballing. Mm, and I, very amateur. Report Reports of... I mean, I think it, AEW uh, is... Mean, with that 3000% because yeah. the way that Ricky Starks comes into the ring, he says, keep your bug eyes off of me. Yeah. I don't have anything to say to you. Right. From there, it looks like edge ad libs the rest of it. Right. No, he did. You know it. So he stuttered. It, it feels yeah. like they had a way to go. Yeah. But he felt he got offended by what was said and took us somewhere else. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. It's uh, it was weird. It no, it was weird, and I think that the the environment breeds it though. It, it, AEW is it's not WWE. Those are not they're not scripting promos, and I think I think you're right. They probably have the framework because Ricky was diverting it back, but they took that little detour and they had a, a back and forth. So, uh, I, I guess we'll. <laughs> Adam Copeland's doing Adam Copeland's doing every show like Jade Cargill's doing every show currently. So I'm going to assume that him and Ricky will uh, will meet again. But I don't. I, this doesn't. That segment didn't feel like story. Banks, line. you know you can't get an ass curl. What you getting it in the back? I had to ask Ricky when I see him again at the gym. How I get it? You see Ricky Starks at the gym? Um. You see Ricky Starks at the gym? What did we go to? Yeah, where where were you? Yeah, niggas, you, Banks, where are you? Banks? Right, <laughs> right. Where can we go? That's awkward. I want to go. Can I get a guest pass? Don't you just knock knock on the? Won't you just uh, <laughs> go outside? <laughs> Cause they so, I, oh, if y'all don't know in La La Land here. Like the um, <laughs> Mimi and Banks' neighbors, and they have a special, they got a special knot, right? So right. when Mimi, like, you know what I mean? It sounds like Mimi said, How you, she said, if, if it's me, if it sounds like, he said, How you make that up? She said, That's the sound my stomach make when I eat. <laughs> that's, that's day three crab stomach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's if I eat it on the fourth day. <laughs> 
nonsense. So I so I guess I, I, I should not expect a Ricky Starks Adam Copeland match anytime soon. I think we should. You think they you think they're gonna pull the trigger on that? Yeah, they it's something reactionary on the timeline. If they don't actually like each other, it's I perfect. Think, I don't know if I don't know if the I I, I think that uh Ricky Starks matches Edge's wrestling style. Like they they make fit well but i just i just don't think so because you would have to you he would have to take a, another loss who rick yeah yeah he ended up having to lose that i don't know if that's... but you but you what you do is is before he fights edge like edge beats up big yo you know what i'm saying like he's gonna do with christian now yeah. yeah and i think christian see if they doing too much with Cause Christian is beefing with uh, uh, the, the little boy he, and his mother. <laughs> Which was, did you did you see that? Why was the mother so big, yo? The mother was big, like that's a big lady, yo. Okay. okay. Like I was like, is she okay. sitting? Okay. Okay. Like is she sitting? Okay. To the camera. I don't, I don't okay. know. What can't stop on. herself. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, she okay. wasn't a big lady. No, she I'm was like, like she was like okay. she was like, okay. like King Beef. You saying? No. Okay. Okay. Was that really Nick Wayne mother, or was it like yes. actress? No, that was definitely his no, mom. That's his mom. That's, that's his, mom. his mom. That was the most awkward promo I've ever seen. She not supposed to be on television. It's the nigga right. Right, and then Jr. Jr. said, "Again, that's your mom. What are you doing there? I, just, I don't understand." He doing this thing. I, really... this, is, this is somebody from the back here. This, this kid stopped and paid to his mom. He's, oh, he don't it. have a choice, Eddie. He ain't got a choice but to fight Christian. The way that this shit lined up. Who? Edge, Edge says he doesn't want to fight. He, yeah, it's a storyline, but he's gonna have to fight him. Ain't no, ain't no way Adam Copeland's not fighting a, a, a Christian. They're gonna have to. It, it's they may be a team before or after the match, but they're gonna have a match. Like, what is he gonna do? <laughs> Who? Yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I, I, I was all for them getting the signing, but why i don't understand why he has to come in and rekindle this shit with with fucking christian like he could have well, did yeah. a bunch of other shit before he before he came to christian you know what's messing everything up what lucha source is there it's a dinosaur He's a, 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 a he's, hey, he's my a, brother. Would you like to take this outside? A, res, a wrestling dinosaur. He's a fucking a Mexican dinosaur. A wrestling saur. Is this what you're telling me? This nigga. He's a he's a, a wrestle saur. He's a wrestle saur. Rex. rex. He is a canker saur to pro wrestling. I hate it. You you. It's a lot of shit that Edge could have did outside of what he would what he's done in the WWE. You've brought him in. You had the opportunity for him to do to do whatever, and you brought him in to do WWE shit. Right. This ain't the, this. We've you seen. You can't bring him to do years. the indie stuff. That's huh? You can't bring him in to do the indie stuff. You this can't bring him in. To this do is the only the, thing that he's good at. Pro wrestling. He's saying, not going to go at it I, I mean, it's my, my fault. It's the only thing he can do. You've okay. brought this nigga in to do <laughs> WWE shit with mm -hmm. WWE niggas that he's been doing this shit with for twenty years. Yeah, on the so WWE the people, show, right? The people he's he's been on a he's been on dynamite, but you, they they but but what's Tony Khan gonna say? No, no, I'm I'm saying you have you have those same not everybody that's that's in AEW wrestles the AEW style, right? Right, right? so you can bring him in to to get with the people who wrestle the other style and make them look good. But you go directly to wrestling Christian. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, it's a new era. To well, me. They wanted this. This is what they, they're doing all this on purpose. What's the what's the intro story <clears throat> there? I, I, if, I'm sorry, if, I'm, I'm if you, you don't if you don't tangle them up with, with Christian first, what's the story that he can come in with? I don't I'm not sure. 
we didn't we we didn't get anything other than that. I think I don't that's understand what I'm saying. why we have to tangle him up with the old head. Like right now, why? Like why? Like because I there's think, n- there's no available story with anyone else. Make but we one. didn't even try. Create one. That's what you're supposed to do. We- that's his role, right? To come in and help the young bucks. Who, but who? His in? role is he's a big star from the other company that we got to come. Is over. he though? Yes. Well, but he's what? The, but he's the biggest star in that. Yeah. But wait. But back up. So let's back up for a sec. So what? I guess the question would then be, where could we see Adam Copeland viably inserted storyline wise with? Like, who are the younger pro wrestlers that, right now that are available to have the Adam Copeland story that shouldn't be Adam Copeland versus Kristen Cage? So we legit, I understand. I understand what y'all y'all are saying. I, I got you. You, you, you just want to know where else would you put him outside of being with Christian? You have, it's sort of like the, the storyline when you said, where would you put Brian Bryanson? We found somewhere to put them to make other people look wonderful, like with Hangman Page. Like, what was, what was the first beef? What was Daniel Bryan's first beef? Uh, was, Kenny Omega. The first oh, match was the, the was Omega, Omega match. Yes, his first match was at Grand Slam against Omega. Yeah. So I understand you can't you you can't put. Well, I'm not gonna say you can't, but you don't want Edge to or Adam Copeland to be overshadowed coming in the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. But you got him in in this redundant role where we've seen him wrestle Christian, like I said, for 20 years. So mm-hmm. we back here. Yeah. The majority of that 20 years, he was with Christian, not against him, though. But you don't think that that's going to happen, too? It'll happen. Yeah, he rambled you. off, tagging against the Bucks. No, I think Alabama. We're going to see Hardy Boys versus Edge and Christian. If if they all can wrestle in mm-hmm. AEW, it's going to happen. I see that shit at the Golden Corral every Sunday. Is yeah. it, when they wrestling thing. over biscuits and fucking uh, <laughs> Salisbury steak? Why don't you come get me? I'm gonna watch them niggas fight too. <laughs> Tony Khan ain't been there though. Tony Khan can afford. You ever seen? Hmm. This may not be the best. Uh, 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 analogy, but you ever seen that Richard Pryor movie, The Toy? Yes, yeah, I love that movie. Mm-hmm. Where, where the little uh, for the for those in the chat who may not have seen it, essentially there was this bored little white kid who was extremely wealthy. I don't remember what the daddy daddy had all mansion, Video yacht, movie. everything. Mm-hmm. Little boy wanted a friend, it's and really went out in the world and found him. An adult as Richard Pryor said, Daddy, go buy him and have him be my friend. I'm not saying Tony Khan's that little boy buying Richard Pryor, but I'm saying he's at a point where he can afford to make all of the dream matches that he wants to make. He, that's all he's concerned about. He's, I don't know if he really cares about this is the umpteenth time we've seen the Hardy Boys or... I, maybe some people don't want to see Edge and Christian. His thought is, shit, I can afford to put Edge and Christian in a feud in my, my wrestling company in 2023. They want to do it. I don't think that's I don't think that's it. Cause I, I don't think he thinks that's like the oh my god draw. I think you don't? No. But how be. do you how do you make that <clears throat> edge debut make sense without Christian? Him right. coming out. Why would he come out on anybody else? Why would he care about anybody else? Because the truth is, is that first beef on the card? Oh, I'm sorry, his first beef on the roster isn't. It's the intro beef, right? It ain't the beef that needs to that determines everything. It's just this is how you introduce uh, the new nigga to the in in the. Uh, this is how uh, what's what's Victor Newman's kid is intro to the story this month is this is the new kid but he's got to be victor newman's kid because we know victor newman and this kid looked like victor newman right. i'm this don't make it his whole story is going to be xyz but the intro story is that he's victor newman kid because we know him from victor newman i i think that my only thing with questioning how invested tony khan is into this 
is there because there's only two things that could have been the new era that he was speaking of when he talked about the new era of AEW coming out of Wrestle Dream. Could be one one is Swerve Strickland. The other thing is Adam Copeland, the rated R era or whatever they want to call this. I think we're gonna see that I we're gonna see that match too. Well, we're I think we're getting all of that, but I, I I think when 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 Tony Khan was specifically talking about AEW after Wrestle Dream being a totally new chapter, a new era, a new era, I think Adam Copeland plays a big part of that. Yeah, Adam Copeland is is taking Charles Manson uh, Punk's spot. The facts. Saturday There's no history. denying it, and and he's he's there doing what he wants to do. Unfortunately, that means you're about to get this Christian Cage uh, program for a minute. We in it. I don't think it's going to be that minute. I don't think it's going to be that long, though. It's I I it's tough to determine. I I really after Jay White, I feel like there's a couple of people that would be vying for the title before, unless they want to drop Edge into the MJF conversation ASAP. 